Hello everybody, welcome back to another Warframe video. In this one we're going to take a look at how to level up your Arcwing. Now, without a doubt, the best place to go ahead and level your Arcwing is going to be Salacia on Neptune. Uh, this is because you get lots of enemies bunched up in tight corridors, which allows you to dispatch them really, really quickly. And each of the defense points usually gives you tons of enemies to, to fire at. A uh, bit of advice as you're going in, try to use stick close to as many of your party members as you can. Uh, and with that being said, try to get in there with a full squad. As this is going to, A, increase the amount of spawns that you get, so therefore giving you more affinity. And the closer you are to the squad, the more likely you are to be gaining shared affinity as everybody gets all of the kills. Um, you'll get a decent selection of mods in here as well, so if you start out with not that many mods, it's not too bad. Um, and you should be able to equip most of your weapons and your arc wings with at least a few decent mods once you've been through a few times. Honorable mention goes to Kalis on Uranus. Um, this is mainly because um, this is also an endless mission and once you've kind of got a few mods and you're able to, to hold your own a little bit, you'll be able to, to kind of participate this in, in this one a little bit better. The only downside to this one is that although it's an, um, another endless mission, um, you will be forced to split up from the squad, which means you'll gain overall less affinity per mission, but it does drop different mods. Um, and then the third place you kind of want to keep an eye out for, and so you're going to want to mix this in a little bit, is Seatis on Mars. And that's because the three different uh, mission types that you get for Arcwing drop um, different mods, depending on the enemies and stuff that, you, that you're facing. So you are going to want to uh, mix in a few of these as well, just to make sure you get a good mod distribution. But in terms of in terms of pure leveling, um, going with Salacia, stick with the uh, stick with the pack, and just kind of ruin the enemies. Now this is probably one of the times where I may well advise taking a an affinity an affinity booster or waiting for a double XP weekend, just because um, even even going through here. It, it, it takes a good 20 to 30 runs to, to fully rank up a, an Arcwing. I, mean, I might be exaggerating here a little bit, I didn't exactly count, but towards the end you are averaging maybe one to two um, ranks per run. So I might be overstating it, you might be looking at more like 10. But um, it is a grind. Now, obviously, with people not really doing that many Arcwing missions, that could be a blessing, but um, yeah. That is really the only place to, to get this done. I'm sorry there's not really like an awesome shortcut or something that I can show you. Um, but um, if you're looking to level up your Arcwings, that's where to go. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful for you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you then.